Welcome to this video. In this video we will show you how to configure the second generation switch decoder with the DigiKais app. To be able to configure the device, please make sure the device is powered on and added to the app. If you did not do this yet please pause this video and take a look at the how to use the DigiKais app video. You can find the link in the video description. Now that the device is added to the app and the connection is opened let's explain the options that are available. Please note the X on the top right corner is used to disconnect the device from Bluetooth and will bring you back to the main page of the app. When you want to use the device through DCC please make sure the Bluetooth connection is not active. Update Firmware Within the Update Firmware section you can view the current firmware version of your device and you can see the latest firmware available. Through the Firmware section you can easily downgrade or update the firmware to your needs. Start Configuration Within the Configuration section you can configure the device and view and load previously saved configurations. Open Switchboard you will see 16 addresses that can be switched. The address number depends on the start address you have configured. Red means off. When you push the red address number it will turn green, this means on. Reset to default. The reset to default option will reset the device. In practice this means preset 0 will be loaded and the start address of the device will be set to 1. This option will only reset the physical device. Any saved configurations will still be available within the app and can be loaded through the saved configurations options. Online help. Within the online help section you will find information and links to get support or view online help information through our support platform. Update Firmware When you open the Firmware section you will see the firmware version loaded on your device and the latest version available. To update the firmware on your device please select the firmware from the list. After this you can select the Update Firmware button and the update process will start. When the process is finished the device will restart. Start Configuration Overview Load Preset on All Outputs The Load Preset on All Outputs option is used to select a preset and load them on all outputs. This would mean that all outputs will be configured exactly the same way based on the preset selected. Within the Load Preset on All Outputs, you can also set the start address of the device and open the switchboard. If you want to learn more about the different presets please visit the preset information through the link in the video description. Load Preset Per Output The Load Preset Per Output option can be used to load a preset on one or multiple outputs. This way you can easily attach different sorts of products to your device. Custom Configuration This option is still in development, more information will follow when available. Saved Configurations Within Saved Configurations you will find the configurations done through preset per output. Load Preset on All Outputs When the Load Preset on All Outputs section is loaded, the app will show you which preset is currently loaded. This preset will be colored blue. When you want to change the preset please select the preset you need. The selected preset will now be colored blue. Open Switchboard From the Preset All Output section you can open the switchboard to use or test your outputs by turning them on or off. Set Device Address You can use the Set Device Address to change the start address of the device. When you open this section it will show you the current start address. 
When done, please select the Configure Device button and the start address will be changed. Load Preset Per Output Within the Load Preset Per Output section you can easily set up a preset per output. For this video we want the start address on the device to be 50 and we want to set up a turnout on Out 1 and a Dutch Railway signal on Group 2. The first thing we do is to set the start address of the device to address 50. After that we select Turnout. The preset 0 screen will open and you can select on which out the turnout is connected. In this case Out 1. After that we select the Save option. Now that the turnout is done we can continue with the signal. The signal we want to configure is a combination of two outs and therefore called a group. Because we already used out 1 for the turnout, the group of the signal will be group 2. Group 1 will show as already occupied. Depending on the address used for previously set up presets it will show the address or group of addresses that are free to use. We select the address we want to use, and select group 2 and select the save option. We have now configured the turnout and the Dutch railway signal and are able to save this by selecting the configure device button. You will be asked to give the configuration a name. Your configuration will be saved within the app and can be edited, loaded or removed through the saved configurations section.